time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to do that subscribe button. And you know where it's at? Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter too. And it's time to get some reaction videos done. y'all last night was scandalous scandalous because they had the harry and megan interview with oprah who watched it <laughs> who was on twitter the whole time watching it <laughs> i'm gonna tell you i don't know about the best what the best part was because i was i was getting emotional watching it i was getting emotional just seeing you know what the harry and the megan went through and just thinking of what they did to the dirties did to dirt diana just thinking of that, what they did, and it just seems so, you know, on point of what they did to them. And then how they just throw them under the bus. How they, how could, how, I'm already going to get into it. Because how could Charles not, just not even take his son's calls? But then he's going to be up there with that dirty Camilla. And then, I seen the crown and what you did to Diana, Charles. And I always liked the William and Kate. I always like the William and Kate, but then you hear like the, some stories and all, and and you got to think why could why didn't you stand up and have your brothers back? It made me mad. It made me mad. I'm telling y'all. But then I like I said I went on Twitter and then I was cracking up because Twitter is the best, especially when it comes to these shows and and just the Twitter reaction. So I'm gonna react right now. Show y'all a couple of my favorite memes. A couple of my favorite memes, some though, what, one of my favorites that had me cracking up. So y'all ready to do this first one? Let me get it up. I right, here's the first one. <laughs> right there, y'all can see it. What did it say? So she, Harry and Meghan will be able to walk away from the Royals with money left from Harry and Diana has me. And then she said, Ch tell, it's a picture of Diana. Tell Charles I want him to know it was me. Because <laughs> that was. You know, last night, that was everybody was saying that probably Diana's looking down at her son from having like supportive and, and there for him and knows what he went through with all this and just proud of him to be speaking up and his voice, say, you know, was speaking up and tell him all the things they went through in his voice. And how, well, I'm going to tell you, how, how did they talk about, th they were like homeless and Tyler Perry gave them a house to, to stay in. They didn't get that. They wouldn't pay for security. They wouldn't pay them for security, little baby Archie and all that. But then Tyler Perry was like, I, you can stay at my place. Because he probably got like 20 houses. He got more than the monarch that Tyler Perry. That ain't that something. They just gonna throw him under the bus. And speaking of the William and Kate, that's one of the, the memes I had. Let me get it up. Let me get it up over here. <laughs> I tell you, I like the William and Kate. But this one had me crack it up. Because this is when they brought up. The babies, like they said, there was talk of like what color the baby was going to be c coming out, right? They was worried because she's mixed and, and all it, and I, you got to, first of all, that family lacks pigmentation. They they can use all the little pigmentation they can get. You saw how white Harry is. I know he's sucking up the, all the vitamin D's all up in the planet with that, that skin. So they can use a little pigmentation up in the house. But then they start talking about like there was talks and questions of how dark the baby was going to be in all this. All that. And then that's when Twitter was going crazy. So here's one of my first because this girl, what the black, oh, it was a guy, black boy, bullet, what did he say? He goes, I know it was William. Nasty trifling, cheating, balding ass. <laughs> I just know it was him. I was thinking the same. I was the, everybody was like, it's Philip, it's this. I, w I even went to Charles, but I wonder if William had a little thing into this. Because he's just like his dad. I think he is. I think he's just like his dad. Cheating too. You remember, you ain't going to see Harry cheating. He ain't going to have no scandals, but they had that little scandal. William was cheating with the Kate's friend and all that. And they tried to, you know, in his dirty self, just like Charles with his cheating self. So I kind of thought the same. I thought maybe it's Charles. But also little William and there were in agreement because they just like each other. They are. All right, y'all. This is my last. This is my last but favorite one. Because this one, and, and this is sad because you know, Prince, or is he a prince or he ain't king? Prince Philip. 
the queen's husband, right? I mean, he's had some health issues. He has had, and that's one thing. Harry never said anything bad about them. He always talked about how much respect he has for the queen. And Megan too, talking about, you know, how she, the queen embraced, they shared the blanket, just how nice they were to him. So, I mean, the, the, if they could say anything, it's that, you know, the queen and them really didn't get behind him and take up for him when all this happened. But I feel like they were always nice to him, to, to Megan and the Harry. And, and even through the end, they never had one bad thing to say. Maybe they scared to say something bad. I don't know. But that was one thing they ever said. But still, it's out of humor. Even though, and I know Prince Philip's sick and, and he's like a thousand years old now. But this is all out of humor and it had me cracking up. You already see this me. There it is. They worried about Archie's skin, really? Oh, that's so me. <laughs> Look at poor Prince Philip. What they did to poor Prince Philip up there? <laughs> I mean, I don't think they, my, I, I don't think they did anything to to manipulate that photo. But <laughs> you know, how did he? How is he? How old is he? They just try. What did they? They keeping him alive? What they got from Aldehyde? Just trying to preserve him, and you could tell that skin there. <laughs> that ain't right. But you know, it was fun. And I, I'm telling you, that was one of those I had. It had me cracking up. I'm going to tell y'all it did. I'm not even going to lie. It did. And you know I had to say my little two cents. I had to say my little two cents in there. And I had this this one meme here. Because they brought up they brought up Archie. And I love a little baby story and all. But then, you know, Oprah started asking, what's his favorite, first word or his favorite toy or his favorite saying and all this. And then this was my meme because... They were like, oh, they laughed about it. What he says now, every time someone leaves, he's like, drive safe. And it just hit me. And here's, I tweeted this. Anyone else seeing the connection to Archie's favorite saying, drive safe, and remembering how Diana's life ended. Oh, I don't know why it hit me, because she hit with the car accident and everything. But how that, they say he, they don't know why he says that all the time. And he just ends with like, drive safe. Or anybody say, drive safe. I don't know why, but it just hit, it hit me. It brought tears thinking how Diana passed away and, and how she never got to meet her little grandbabies and all. Oh, it's... And of course, I had to say the other one. I had to say this other one because you know when they brought up that that uh, Archie and all and then I thought of that weekend. Remember they had that big week, the, the weekend meme when he's doing the Super Bowl stuff? So I had him up there and I was like, me going to the palace. Looking for the person who made the skin comment about Archie. Because <laughs> I was like, because I was mad. I was like, who said that? I got, I got to whip their butt. You know, I was mad. <laughs> I was ready to fight. It was a good interview, though. I'm going to tell y'all, I, I enjoyed it. I thought, because you never, I mean, you never hear too much. They real silent over there. And you could tell, they stay silent. They don't want to say nothing. So to for them to do this interview... And, and get their story out. Uh, it's good because even before this interview came, what did they want to release a story about Megan talking about how she bullied the staff and all this? And right there, I was like, oh, they they are already trying to, die, to make her look bad because they know they're going to be looking bad soon once they talk, say their truth up on there. Well, let me know what y'all think. Let, I got to know. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time, y'all.